All right, so between this video and the last video, I actually changed a little bit of the settings. Hopefully, it's running a little bit better. Uh, I think it should be. Uh, let me take advantage of the fact that I'm next to the stable master and train my horse really fast. Look at me, level six. Traveler, a moment of your time. No. <laughs> okay. Come to the harborage. We must speak. All right, chasing shadows. It is. We're progressing pretty well. See, I knew it was a good idea to just, tr uh, not train, but like level my character to level 50 uh, for this playthrough. Because I swear, dude, it would have been a long time before I got to the DLC. Because I would have to get to level 50 before I can finish the main story. And I do want to finish the main story before I head to the DLC areas or zones. So, I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. Alright, talk to the Prophet. I am really enjoying this character, by the way, a lot. I'm still getting used to him in terms of how, like, how he plays and stuff, but I'm, I'm enjoying him quite thoroughly. Good God, you are safe. Good fortune did not abandon us entirely. Um, is something wrong, Mr. Prophet Dude? Despite many days of meditating and scrying, Sai Sahan's whereabouts still elude me. The projection that you witnessed in the Foundry of Woe showed him to be in great peril. If we are to find him, I will need your help, Vestige. What can I do to help? Though Sai remains hidden from my sight, Lyris brings news that an agent of the enemy lurks in Daggerfall. Fear is on the lips of the people. Darkness walks among them. Even a blind man can sense it. It is the hand of Menemarko. And how can that help us? If it is truly an agent of Menemarko's worm cult, it may provide us with a clue that will hasten our search. Seek this agent, but tread carefully. The worm cult is a cult of necromancy, and the undead are fearsome opponents. Okay. So, how can I find this agent that you're speaking of? Venture to Daggerfall. I'm in Daggerfall. Maid Maxell and Husnia, the mercenary. It was on their lips that Lyra's first heard murmurs of trouble lurking in the shadows. Locate this agent of evil. Return with any personal effects they carry with them. All right, I'll find something in return. Lyris, you're really good at that. Good job. All right, so let's see if we can find this quote unquote agent of evil that the prophet speaks of. Shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, we're in the city already. He keeps saying, uh, go travel to Daggerfall. Like, if I'm far from Daggerfall, I'm literally right outside the city of Daggerfall. But alright then. I mean, the game's performance is definitely better so far, but admittingly, we just started recording, so... Hopefully, uh, it stays like this, because... The way it was in the last couple videos, it was pretty... The performance is pretty bad for some reason. So talk to Maxell. There's two people I need to speak to. Where's the second person? I... Okay, they're both over here. One of them is indoors. The other one is outdoors. Let's talk to the one outdoors first. Since it kind... Let me see. Okay. Since it kind of looks like it's over here somewhere. I don't know why I went this way. I literally just went full circle. <laughs> yeah, like how we just hovered down the, the the thing. Excuse me, Mr. Kelton or whatever your name was. Maxell is right here. Hello, Maxell. Hear ye, hear ye. You're new to Daggerfall, aren't you? I know everyone in town. Uh, well, since you know everyone in town, have you noticed any other strangers in the city other than me? I don't like to gossip, but there's been an imperial vagrant nosing around for the past few weeks. Suspicious looking fellow. I actually saw him picking through the trash outside the castle a few weeks ago. I've no idea where he is now. Hmm, okay. 
Uh, let's try to persuade. You obvi you're obviously obser uh, you're obviously as observant as you are beautiful. Is there anything else you can tell me, Miss Gorgeous Lady? Of you? Oh, you're too kind. You make me blush. Come to think of it, I did see him a few days later on the south side of town. He was with another man, very thin and pale, almost sickly. Does that help? A vampire? Maybe? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's something. Pale and sickly. I can only assume it's a vampire. So... I'm assuming... Did I get... I might have done it when I was grinding, but... Oh, not, not guild. Actually, skills. I'm trying to see if I got the uh, Undaunted. Yeah, I did. And it's already at level 3. Fighter's Guild's level 10 because I was grinding Dolmens when I was leveling this character. Um, So where is this person? Upstairs, maybe? No, down here. Hey, get out of my way! Thank you. Who's this now? I bet you've got a wild tale or two to share. Maybe. Uh, I basically died and came back. No big deal, you know. Uh, I was hoping you have a tale for me about a stranger in town. Present company excluded. Hmm. Well, there was a dodgy-looking Imperial hanging out in the doorway near Southgate Alley this morning. He was eyeballing everyone who happened by. Seemed like a cut purse looking for an easy mark, if you ask me. Easy mark, you say? Kind of sounds to me like you're some like a, you're some sort of an expert on thieving or something. Perhaps even an accomplice. Now wait a second. Are you with the city watch? Listen, I'm out of that line of work. You want to arrest somebody? That Imperial's your man. I saw him slip into a house right by the south gate with another shady-looking character. Arrest them. So that's two people blaming this Imperial guy, so that there has to be uh, a merit of truth in that, right? Wait, have I? I haven't. We're gonna we're gonna talk to Moira or whatever her name is real quick. Mor Mordra. Well, well, took you long enough. So that we can officially join. Sorry? What's next? <laughs> Cuts right through my crap. I like it. Listen, I'm just pulling your tail, friend. You got no I don't have a tail. This is the gathering of the undaunted, and you're about to become one of us. Yes. You're ready. Yes. Let's listen to this beautiful speech. <laughs> new piece of meat on the rack, fresh from the butcher's me. block. What do you say we show him a proper welcome to the club? Here, here. I've got a proper welcome for him, right down in my breeches. Might be that's a monster they could actually slay. Eh, Jolly? Always with the breeches. You lot should get out more. Besides, that's no proper welcome. I propose a toast. Here, here. A toast! A toast and a song! Hear, hear! Hear, hear! To the new meat's mother. May she have many healthy children. Since this one's a goner. <laughs> <laughs> to the new meat's lover. May their tears be few and silent. So I don't have to hear it when this one dies. <laughs> so dumb. To the new meat's face. May it always bear a smile. So it doesn't look so ugly mounted on a pike. <laughs> <laughs> a fine toast for a fine piece of meat. Now, let's have a song to finish them off. Who knows no fear of beast or blade? Undaunted. Undaunted. Who knows no fear of Daedric flame? We are undaunted. Who knows no fear of death, of age? Undaunted. 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 We, we are, are undaunted. 
Hope you enjoyed the show, friend. Do take pride in what we are. Now you can too. That was a really stupid uh speech, but okay. I guess we have to leave. So search Southgate building. I heard that Dominion soldiers have landed at Farwatch. Can you tell me anything else? Not that his version of the outfit actually looks pretty cool. I like it. My daughter is stationed there. Okay. So, you know what? I'm going to take my handy dandy little guar or whatever it's called. Well, Southgate, that's over there where we started from. Over there by uh by the cave, right? You know, even for being six, this thing is extremely slow, like painfully slow regardless. It's sad, actually. <laughs> I wish he was faster. Okay. We're here. The Chell's house? Is this, is this the Imperial's house? First of all, gotta read this bookshelf. Second of all, let's go down here. Oh, snap. Some sort of a Daedric... Sanctuary of sorts. Maybe we need to take out some Daedric people. Search the underground chamber. Ow! Alright. I need a... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch... 2 and 4... Because I accidentally keep pushing... I, I kinda want... Yeah, I think this is my best bet. I don't think I'll, I'm gonna like it better like this. Okay, yeah, that makes total sense. So much better. And finisher. Yeah, see, that's a lot better. You got nothing on me, buddy. Nut, 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 nut on me, baby. Ooh, bookshelf. Adric Spear 48. I can't believe I'm already <laughs> about to max it out. Let's go. I keep using Rally, but I keep forgetting that it's, uh, it's timed. Come here. Coward. Yeah, the biggest problem with uh, a hybrid build is sustained. I think. This is Abner Thorn. The master and I are very busy. This had better be important. Wait a moment. I don't know your face. Identify yourself immediately. You do know my face. I was there with Lyris uh, in Cold Harbor. Remember? Who? Me? Yes, your report, you insipid twit. What, did you contact me by accident? Total accident. I, I meant to call Ghostbusters, but I misdialed. Uh, forgive me, my lord, but I heard something might be of interest uh, to you. Well, out with it. I don't have all day. He's a dick. Someone has to be asking the locals... Uh, someone has been asking the locals about a red guard named Sai Sahan. Are they? I didn't think that red guard has been had a single friend left. Not in this world, at any rate. Never fear. Sai Sahan is safely locked away. Even if they were to discover his location, attempting a rescue would be suicide. Do you know where he is? Of course I do. But I'm not in the habit of revealing vital secrets to insipid lackeys. Now be gone. And if you contact me again without good reason, I shall contact your cell commander and have you properly thrashed for your ineptitude. Thank you, my lord. So we do, at bare minimum, know that Abner Tharn knows where Sai is. At bare minimum. He hasn't disclosed that information to us, which is concerning. Also, he's kind of a dick. 
But for some reason, that's why I like them. Let's not get stabbed again, please. Thank you. Okay. Just in case the owners of the house came back. You, you can never be pre too prepared, right? So back to the harborage. It is. Nice. God, this thing is painfully slow. I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with this thing. This, uh, this mount. Like, it's cool, but it's not at the same time. I kind of want a different one, but I don't really have one that looks good with my character right now. So there's that. Excuse me, coming through. I don't know why I took that out. I'm in a safe location. Since Lyris and the Prophet are here, even though the Prophet is blind, but, I mean, still pretty powerful nonetheless. Mr. Prophet, sir! You pretend. What have you found? Uh, the cultists use orbs like the one, uh, like this one to communicate. I spoke to uh, Abner Tharn. Abner Tharn shows his face again. I get the sense that he might have a larger part to play in the coming events. But for good or ill, I cannot say. Leave the orb with me. I shall be able to use it to locate Sai Tahan. Okay, good luck. Hold a moment. Come here. What's up, Lyrus? I heard you and the Prophet talking about Abner Tharn. Uh, why do you dislike Tharn so much? Didn't the Prophet tell you the story of the Five Companions? Yeah. He showed me a vision about them, but I'd like to hear your thoughts. I don't know where to start. There's so much to tell. Hmm. Well, tell me about... Tell me about the Five Companions first. We were chosen by Emperor Varen to join him on a quest to recover a lost artifact called the Amulet of Kings. I've heard of it. The Five included Varen, myself, a Red Guard named Sai Sahan. Abner Tharn, and the traitor, Manamarco. Tell me about Manamarco. You only know him as the man who killed you and stole your soul. Mm-hmm. Back then, he was Emperor Varen's most trusted advisor. It was Manamarco who convinced Varen to search for the Amulet of Kings. Why would Varen need that amulet? Varen wasn't a true dragonborn emperor. He didn't share Alessia's bloodline. Menemarco said the amulet could change all that. He said he could use it to perform a ritual that would turn Varen into a true dragonborn. Let me guess, it was a lie. What happened next? It took us more than two years, but we finally recovered the amulet and returned to Cyrodiil to perform the ritual. Menemarco set us up. The ritual caused a violent explosion of magical energy. We lost Varen. Saisahan and I were declared outlaws. So then what happened? Manamarco convinced the Elder Council to recognize Abner Tharn's daughter Clivia as Empress Regent. But Manamarco was the true power behind the throne. Saisahan and I went into hiding. There was a bounty on our heads. Mm. Tell me about the Dragonfires. Well, the legend says that the Dragonfires were created from the blood of Akatosh and given to Saint Alessia. When a new emperor is crowned, they're supposed to relight them to prove that they're a true heir of Alessia, one of the dragonborn. Did you ever find the Amulet of Kings? I think she already said that. More than two years. Yeah, okay. So, tell me about Abner Tharn. Abner Tharn is Grand Chancellor of the Elder Council and Chief Advisor to his daughter, the Empress Regent. He is also Manimarko's toady. Something tells me there's more to this story. Uh, Tharn didn't seem too happy working with the worm, uh, working for the worm cult. Tharn's first loyalty is to his family and the Empire, and he's a ruthless bastard when it comes to defending them. The worm cult obviously doesn't share those loyalties. Tharn would never trust them, but he's too much of a coward to betray them. Makes sense, I suppose. Uh, what if they got something out of it? Maybe. But what could we offer him? 
He's already got more gold than the gods themselves. Okay, well I've heard enough for now. Thank you, Lyris. I know it's a lot to take in. We'll talk more later. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on the Prophet. Hopefully that orb will help him find out where Sai Sahan is being held. Once we know that, we can plan our next move. Good to know. So that was it for Chasing Shadows. That was a pretty short mission, wasn't it? Yeah, the, the performance has been... I, I tweaked the settings a little bit. Uh, reduced a little bit of the draw distance. Because uh, that's that can be pretty taxing on your GPU. Even though I have a 3080. Um, and a 10900K, I think is what it, what it is that I have. I always forget the CPU. Uh, let me, let me look at it real quick, actually. I have, yeah, a 10900K is what I have, and a 3080. Uh, even with the 3080 and the 10900K, it still kind of runs like crap. The fog has lifted, Vestige. The path before us has been revealed. It is both dark and twisted. Come to the harborage. We have an unexpected guest who demands your presence. Unexpected guest who demands my presence? Unexpected guest that demands my presence. I don't know who that could be. I don't have. I haven't met anybody that's demanding like that. Maybe Abner Tharn, but he can't possibly be here, right? Let's see who this special guest is. It is Abner Tharn. Well, that's interesting. We have an unexpected guest, Vestige. What's Tharn doing here? My attempts to use the orb of discourse to locate Sai Sahan did not meet with success. So I decided to try a more direct approach. So he contacted him? As it was intended, and contacted Abner Tharn. Is he being cooperative at least? He admits that he knows Sai Sahan's location. Yeah, I know that. Not reveal it. He demands to speak with you directly. Why me? You're the the leader of this operation. Well, let's hear what he has to say then. We meet again, Vestige. I wish to speak with you on a matter of some urgency. What is this about? Menimarco and his vile master have dark and terrible plans for this world. If you wish to stop them, you need to find the Amulet of Kings. But to find the Amulet, you must first locate Sai Sahar. Wait, I thought you knew where he was. And you wait, hold on. And you know where he is? Of course I do. Okay. And I might be willing to share that information for a price. What's the price? I'm listening. If Manny Marco learns that we've spoken, he'll have me executed. I'm a danger to him. I know too much. Therefore, I, Abner Than, Chancellor of the Elder Council, Overlord of Nibane, formally request asylum. Asylum? You gotta be kidding, right? Do I look to be in a mirthful mood? There comes a point when even a patriot's loyalty is stretched too far, when the things he has done and has seen done become too much to bear. So he wishes to redeem himself. Uh will you come to us? Would that I could. As it happens, I find myself to be somewhat of a prisoner in dire need of rescue. My proposal is this. If you retrieve me from Menemarco's fortress and grant me asylum, I will give you Sai Sahan's location in return. How can I be sure this is not a trick, though? You can't. And you'd be a fool to trust me completely. But the facts remain, you need me if you wish to find Sai Sahan. And I must keep my head if I am to ensure the continuance of the Empire. Neither of us has a choice. Okay, that's fair. And he does seem to be honest. I guess I can see your point. Fan is quite correct. We have little choice in the matter. You can't be serious. How can we possibly trust him? As we don't. So eloquently pointed out, we cannot. But if we are to locate Sai Sahan, we must do this. Go with the best of there is. Rest Ooh. Fan. Give him the chance to redeem himself. He may surprise you. I got backup. I wonder if I could take Bastion 
and look at Bastion's sexy butt. Ooh wee! All right, let's go to Cold, Cold Harbor. So he's a prisoner in Cold Harbor. This is the third time we went to Cold Harbor. One against our will. One to save uh, Lyris, and now apparently again to save uh, Abner Tharn. I like Abner Tharn, maybe because he's an Imperial, but I don't know. You appear to have arrived in the wretched squalor, a shanty town of soul shriven <coughs> outside Menemarco's castle. So then, how do we get inside? As luck would have it, Menemarco is away on some errand for the Daedric Prince. Lucky us. The castle garrison is not on alert, so you should only encounter a token defense. The main gate is sealed, but there are undoubtedly other routes one might take. Such as? You're the hero, aren't you? Improvise. Fine, I suppose we'll find a way. Come on, Lyris. Well, I know you don't like this, but do you have any suggestions? Subtlety and stealth. Let's not bring the entire castle guard down on our heads. And didn't he say this was a town of soul shriven? Maybe we can find one who knows his way around. Cadwell. Cadwell knows everything about Cold Harbor. He said it himself. Well, then we better get started then. Try to be inconspicuous. We just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. God, I hope we see Cadwell again. I really like that lunatic. <laughs> I, I'm, I gotta be on my toes. This place looks fantastic, by the way. These are all like husks, aren't they? Look at that. They're... They've lost it. Who are you? You want to buy something? Bamazar has rocks and dirt and bones. It is hard to be a merchant in the wretched squalor. No, thank you. Uh, I need to find a way in the castle. Do you know of one? Feet first. That is the fastest way in. Ask Cadwell. That crazy bastard seems to know every corner of this place. You better hurry, though. I heard they just chased him into a building near the waterway. <gasps> oh no! Cadwell's in danger! Why am I not surprised to find Cadwell here? Me either. I like Cadwell's lunatic. Behind. Is that a bad guy? It is. Get away! Execution! Is that what I think it is? I don't I don't think so. Okay. Well let's let's just continue. <gasps> Rup. Dunzo. Uh. Alright, so there is one more thing I want to do in terms of my skills. I want to lead off with Vampire's Bane, so... Are you doing here? Intruders. Yeah, this is so much better. Together now. Oh, this is- this guy is strong. Ow, I, I couldn't see what he was doing. Let's... Oh, I, I'm literally out of resources. Alright, let me stand in... Ah, uh, who cares? Wait, what button was that? There we go. Let's do that while we talk to him. Lyris enchanted, as always. And you, you're looking fit for someone, so how can I put it? Deficient in the soul department? Deficient... Deficient in the soul department. Okay. Okay then. Uh, Sir Cadwell, what are you doing here? Wherever the forces of evil prey upon the innocent, wherever souls are stolen and bodies shriven, wherever a people cry out for justice, there goest I. I mean, this whole eternal servitude business is rather nasty, don't you agree? I suppose so. But, back to business, Mr. Uh, Sir Cadwell, dude, man, sir. Uh, we need to find a way to the castle. Any suggestions? Garters, why? Lovely grounds, don't 
Christian, but is positively brimming with angry cultists carrying rather large weapons. Yeah, I mean, I figured as much, but I kind of need to get in there to rescue Abner Tharn. I would get more into it, but it's kind of complicated. I see, I see. A rescue, is it? Well, it is. A different kettle of fish, isn't it? Hmm. There is a cistern that drains into the waterway. Uh, the door is locked, but that's not stopped me before. Why don't you meet me there, and we'll see what's what? Yeah, thank you, Sir Cadwell. That might be our best chance to get inside. Yeah, I mean, I figured that, Lyris. Thank you. Seeing as that's exactly what we just heard from Sir Cadwell. What is that? Oh, that was just one of the husks. How do I get over there? Do I have to swim? I guess I do. I probably could have walked around this house, but... Oh, well. There it is. That's gotta be it, right? Go to the cistern. Wait, I can't... I don't have Bastion. Oh, Bastion can't swim, can he? Yeah, I didn't think so. He, he like disappears every time you're in, uh, in the water. What's up, Mr. Cadwell? You keep up nicely. I can't abide dawdlers. So what's next? This whole bloody castle sits on top of an ocean of unstable oblivion, what's it? The Daedra use pipes to control the flow of it all, and it comes out as steam. Uh-huh. Well, most of the doors in here are sealed with pressure from that steam. It's all rather complicated. But in a nutshell, if I can tamper with the pipes, we can open the doors to the inner keep and you can slip inside. What do you need from us? Well, I can handle the tinkering, but you'll have to keep the beasties off me. It will be quite a romp. Are you game? Yeah, I'm game. Let's go. So, Onward. defend Cadwell. Nice try there, buddy. And execute. Oh, I guess he was dead already. We must protect Sir Cadwell. What are you? Oh, I didn't even see this guy. Ow. Get away from me. Dunzo. Right when I was losing my, uh. My resources. Oh, we got a big old day drop here. You want some of this, buddy? No, go back to that. Dunzo. Yeah, I'm starting to slowly get used to this build. I like it a lot, actually. I'm really having fun, but I, I gotta pay attention to the resources. Since I am limited to half, right? Although maybe I could re uh, respec a little bit, and put a little bit more into Magicka. That's always an option too. One more after Let's just take this guy out. Taste our yes. What Bastion said. Execute. Very nice. Yeah, this build is... It's tasty. You get an execute too. Everyone gets an execute. You get an execute. You get an execute. Look at Cadwell the repairman. Man, 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 man. Talk to Cadwell. Oh, I want some tea. 
Thank you. A pleasure thinking a thing of it. The merest trifle, truly. You'll find this Tharn fellow at the top of the Tower of Bones. You'll need to make your way through the Keep's heart to get to it, but it's not terribly far. All of that sounded disturbing, but okay, sure. Uh, what's he doing up there? I understand the King of Worms has set him to the task of inspecting the soul gems that find their way into the castle. Which is to say, well, uh, all of them. You'll see crates of the things scattered around the premises. Why don't you come with, the, uh, with us? We could use another hand. Indeed? Well, I might just take you up on that. Ooh. Safety first. I'll stay here for the nonce and make sure nothing comes to bugger up our little adventure from behind. I like Cadwell a lot, man. Thanks, Cadwell. Sir Cadwell came through again. That crazy knight is starting to grow on me. I've always liked him. No, you shouldn't be worried. He's a lovable, charismatic individual. Although a little kooky. How many thorns does it take to Would rule an empire? Shut up. I'm trying to work here. None. The one on the throne is a patsy, and the one in the tower isn't useful anymore. That's not even funny. Get back to work, would you? What? It's true. Yeah, all right. Man of Marco is gonna be so wrong. Maybe I didn't need to use my ultimate on him, but <laughs> I wanted to anyways. Hurry up! The worms are on the move. Wait, who said that? Who said that? We're at the Tower of Bones. I think that was Abner Tharn who said it. Oh, there he is. Hi. There you are. I was beginning to think you were captured. We have a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. Uh, and what's the problem? The door at the top of the tower has sealed with a warded barrier. I've seen the worms use similar sorceries before. It will sear you to ash if you touch it. How do we get through it? Here's a thought. The flesh atronauts that patrol the castle halls are assembled in a laboratory very close to the warded door. If you created your own atronach, it would be bound to obey you. You could force it to smash through the barrier. How do I do that? It's a simple process. A child of five could do it. Unfortunately, we don't have a child of five, so I'll be forced to walk you through it. <laughs> you'll need some good-sized chunks of flesh. Take them to the laboratory, and I'll contact you there. He's literally insinuating that I'm dumber than a five-year-old. We're on our way. Oh my god, look at this. It's an army of dead guys. Can you imagine us go- No, thank you. I would not want to go against all of them. Chilled flesh. So that's one out of four parts. I'm assuming... We need this right here. Got him. That's two out of four, actually. And I got some rapport for ba for Bastion. Hello. Ah. Uh. Sick. That's three out of four already. I hope I didn't pass it. You want some? Dunzo. What's on your mind? No, Bastion, I'm not trying to talk to you. Oh, right there. I found the last piece of the puzzle. <gasps> no remorse. Can't imagine. Get away! Bastion is a tank, so he he has the ability to taunt. kind of why I wanted to summon him is because he kind of keeps them distracted and does a little bit of damage in return as well nice so we got every piece we can make this flesh atronaut right dunzo Hey, look, there goes Abner Tharn again. Not very big, is it? Oh, well. I hear that a lot. The ritual from the <laughs> All right. No, I, Bastion, get out of the way. I'm trying to do this ritual. Come over here. 
of Atronaut Binding. Wait for the Flesh Atronaut? We're not going to have to fight him, are we? I mean, we summoned him, so I don't think we should, or we would. No, we're not. We'll make a necromancer of you yet. Why? I don't want to be a necromancer. That was disturbing. A little bit. But cool. Come here, me Nice. You know, for not being very optimal in damage, he's still pretty strong, this character. I think at least. All things considering, right? Again, he could definitely be a lot stronger if I optimize this build a little bit more, but oh god. Two for one special. Oh god, don't roll off the mountain now. Perfect. I gotta be careful because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more. Oh. Get over here. Nice. There's definitely going to be more here. I knew it. Not a challenge. I got my ultimate too. <gasps> We're here to rescue. This is him in person too, by the way. This is an improvement. Abner Thorn. So <gasps> we meet in person at long last. You look taller in your projection. Dude, he looks. He looks super cool. So I, I'm not entirely sure how I got it, but it was a part of the quest. It was part of the quest line, I believe. Uh, I got this outfit, right? It's called like the Imperial Chancellor's outfit or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it's called. But it's a different color. It's got like gold and everything. As a matter of fact, I put it on Bastion in an earlier vi earlier video, and it looks ugly the way it is like uh, when you receive it. But this way, with these colors all dark and stuff, it actually looks pretty good. So I'm kind of, I kind of like it actually. And not a moment too soon. If I had to inspect one more bloody soul gem, I'd have thrown myself from the tower. Damn it. <laughs> we should have waited five more minutes. I'm just kidding. Uh, why should we trust you, Tharn? A fair question. I know things. Things that can help you. Here's a bit to whet your appetite. Menemarco isn't doing any of this to serve Molag Bar. His ultimate plan is to out-scheme the God of Schemes and to replace him. Replace him? What? How? The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything. Why do you think he kidnapped Sai Sahan? He's torturing him, trying to get him to reveal the amulet's hiding place. Yeah, we know that. We saw it in a vision. Because he's trying to find the amulet of kings before we do. Precisely. With the amulet at his command, Manny Marco believes he can trap Molag Baal's essence and absorb his power. He seeks to become a god himself. That sounds bad. What else can you tell me? to discuss this further but this is hardly the place get me to a safe haven and i will tell you the rest that was our agreement was it not now let's wait um, that's fair did you feel that wait feel what i heard something defeat man in marco now now no telling my secrets oh we're gonna see a showdown aren't we <gasps> i will deal with you shortly where did he go of the foundry is still available. We'll even give you your own set of unbreakable chains. And you, a thorn in my side, the pebble in my shoe. How strong are you? Shall we test your limits? Let's do it. I don't think you can stand a chance there, buddy. Whoop. Fury, the process 
drains the energy from most victims if you keep fighting. Cause it's fun. Dude, there's so many of them. Three of the three of us together, me, Bastion, and uh, Lyris. How much more can you take, I wonder? We're too strong for these guys together. Actually, let's do that. Since this guy is probably gonna be a little tougher. He's not. At all, actually. Oh, Mr. Bone Colossus. You easy SOB. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Well, so much for that. Oh, that was dope. Abner Tharn is powerful. He will not remain discorporated for long. His consciousness will be adrift for a few moments, but that is all. Why did you help me? Because Madame Marco has delusions of godhood. He cares nothing for the Empire. He seeks only power. I've never done battle with him before. He's far more powerful than I imagined. Oh well, too late for regrets. In for a bean, in for a beanstalk. What now? First things first. We need to get out of here alive. So what do you suggest? We certainly can't go back the way you came in. I'd imagine they're swarming the grounds already. There's a refuse chute further down the path. It's a bit of a drop, but we'll probably survive. Um. Okay, let's go. That was dope. Abner Tharn literally put up a, an actual valid fight against Mana Marco. Ugliest princess ever rescued from a tower, Tharn. <laughs> I'm sure your lack of education and repeated blows to the head haven't dulled your wit. Damn. They're going at it. One's a princess, the other one is apparently suffered one too many concussions. Hey, Cadwell. Need a way out? I'll have that open in just a moment. Okay, preserve us. You're as battered and bruised as a peach in a sack of rocks. <laughs> the old do, was it? No matter. You'll be needing an escape route, no doubt. Great timing, Cadwell. Well, it's what I do, quite honestly. We should probably hurry it up. The entire castle is as bristly as a sack of sewing needles after all that noise. <laughs> why don't you come with us? Or why don't you come with us? Come with you? You mean leave Cold Harbor? Well, I, I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've seen the world I left behind. Do, do, do you think it's wise? Dude, you should definitely come with us. Uh... You should come along. It might be good for you. <clears throat> well, that's, uh, that's settled then. And after all, you do need someone to lead you out of here. Onward! Yay! Let's go! We got ourselves to Cadwell, too. We rescued two people. I mean, I guess Cadwell didn't really need a rescue, but he was indifferent about going back, period. Oh, snap! Um, that's a lot of bodies. Quickly, I've opened another portal. Hurry! I'm coming, Mr. Prophet, sir, dude. Man, that fight with Men and Marco, uh, between Abner Tharn and Men and Marco was pretty sick, dude. Although it was just a glimpse, obviously. Hey, Abner Tharn's here. My estates, my titles, my own life, it's all forfeit now. All in the name of preserving the Empire. I swear by all the gods, Men and Marco will pay dearly for this. I mean... He cares a lot about his material objects, clearly, but... At least he's using it as leverage to help us, I guess. Are you alright? Of course. I am Abner Tharn. It will take okay. more than a few brainless cultists to rattle these old bones. <laughs> now then, where were we? 
Uh, you were gonna tell us where Sai Sahan is. <clears throat> Truth be told, I don't know the precise location, but I do know that he is Manimarko's prisoner and that the King of Worms is trying to pry the location of the amulet from him. Wow. He doesn't actually know where he is. You don't know where he is. Now, now, before you lose your temper, let me clarify. I don't know precisely where he is, but I can find out. I'll just need a little time. You're a dick, and you tricked us. What? You son of a bitch! Huh. Now, <laughs> are you insane? Get away from me, you brutish she-troll! Yes, stand down. He's done nothing but lie to us from the beginning. I don't care what he says. He'll always be Menemarco's toady. Please! Menemarco wants me dead. Did I pretend to capitulate to him? Yes, I did. Do you have any idea how many lives I saved by doing so? The only thing you saved was your holdings in your own hide, you pompous ass! He just gave it all up. Abner had no choice, Lewis. And we are guilty of our own deceit, are we not? The time has come for the Vestige to know the truth. What's this? The Vestige doesn't know? Oh, this is rich. Sire, don't. Vestige, until now, you've only known me as the Prophet. But that is not my true name. I am Varen Aquilarius. Our fallen Emperor, in the tattered robes of a moth priest, Blind as a newborn kid. I am sorry I deceived you, Vestige. He's Varen. So... What? You are angry. It is to be expected. So you're the Emperor. I thought you died. I was once, but no more. My name is Varen Aquilarius. Why did you tell me? Why the deception? In truth, I feared you'd kill me where I stood if you knew who I was. Why? You certainly wouldn't have allied with us so readily. I caused this, all of this. If Merlock Ball destroys this world, the blame will be mine and mine alone. How can I trust you now? Or Lyris? You guys lied to me. Even Abner Tharn lied to me, but at least even he's being more honest than both of you guys. You must not blame Lyris. She did as I instructed. She's my sworn protector, but she is also your ally. You have my solemn promise, Vestige. When this is over, if you still judge me harshly, you can end my life. I will offer no resistance. So what now? We must find Saisahan. Everything depends on that. So the Prophet is Varys. Or Varen, excuse me, I keep calling him Varys. Varen. What should I do? In this matter, nothing. Abner and I must confer. We will contact you again when we have more information. I did not foresee Abner's defection, but I welcome it. Manamarco fears him, and with good reason. He can help us. I feel certain of it. Wow. You're never content to rest on your laurels. I admire that. Thank you. Where's he at? In I something. He's almost at level 20. Y'all, dude, we're so close to getting him to 20. At 20, he unlocks his ultimate. But, dude, that was such a grind to get him to where he's at now. Miri's about that level too. Castle of the Worm. Yeah, it's probably best if I keep him with me at all times. Just to continue the grind even while I'm recording. Should be interesting to say the least though. Whoa! Got a polar bear! Okay, let's continue. What horse is- what mount does he have? The Imperial Battle or War? Yeah, it is. Alright, yeah, that, that mount is sick. Alright, let's go ahead and go. <clears throat> 